only 8% of medical students get this really high yield US assembly question correct. So let's go through this question. In this question, they're asking us which of the following may be associated with this patient's condition and they've given us a bunch of symptoms. So let's read the question stamp. A 42 year old African American woman presents to the clinic with a one week history of excessive thirst and increased urination that is interfering with her work as a school teacher. Routine serum and urine tests are obtained and a water deprivation test is performed. After water deprivation, her serum osmolality is 305 and her urine osmolality is 400 and urine specific gravity is 1.007. Following administration of desmopressin, her urine osmolality increases to 490. Measurement of plasma anti diuretic hormone shows a value which is within the normal limits and they've given us a bunch of lab values and you can see the sodium is borderline high and the rest of her labs are mostly normal maybe with some low hemoglobin as you can see and slightly decreased hematocrat so which of the following may be associated with this patient's condition so the main meat of this question is the polyuria and the polydipsia which is happening with some osmolality changes in her serum which makes me think of diabetes insipidus and you can see that with the water deprivation her urine osmolality only increased to 400 when it should have gone to 600 at the minimum so that tells me there's some issue with the ADH but at the same time they're also telling me the ADH is within normal limits so that makes me think of nephrogenic diabetes insipidus and because they gave her desmopressin and she did respond somewhat so it's partial nephrogenic diabetes insipidus which is likely going on and if you look at her symptoms she has low hemoglobin and she's african-american what does that make you think of nephrogenic di in somebody who is african-american with low hemoglobin well it makes me think of sickle cell anemia and what can happen in sickle cell anemia the answer is ductilitis so let's see if that's the answer the answer is correct so guys if you want to start your USMLE prep for free go to the link in my bio and i will send you my high yield USMLE aq bank for free